As a young child in Visalia, California, Dale Ball's passion for baseball ignited his lifelong hobby of collecting baseball cards. His enthusiasm for the sport knew no bounds, and he eagerly amassed a vast collection of cards over the years. Confident in his ability to discern authenticity, Dale prided himself on his keen eye for spotting counterfeit cards. Until a visit to a store in Sparks, Nevada put his skills to the test. While perusing the card selection at the store, Dale stumbled upon a card featuring none other than the legendary Babe Ruth, manufactured by the Shotwell Company in 1921. What made this particular card intriguing was its rarity. So rare, in fact, that the store owner doubted its authenticity, citing its absence from online databases. Recognizing a golden opportunity, Dale wasted no time in acquiring the card, astonishingly for a mere two dollars. Little did anyone realize that this seemingly ordinary transaction held the potential to change lives. Back at home, Dale wasted no time in initiating the authentication process for the Babe Ruth card. Despite skepticism from some quarters, local shop owner of bases loaded sports cards and collectibles expressed optimism about the card's potential value, estimating it could fetch anywhere from $20, thousand to $30, thousand if authenticated. However, Dale remained cautiously optimistic, hesitant to speculate on the card's worth until it underwent formal authentication. His journey with the Babe Ruth card was just beginning, and the possibilities were as vast as the baseball legend's legacy. Dale suspected that the store owner's valuation was based on the E21 version of the Babe Ruth card. Unaware that he had stumbled upon the highly sought-after Shotwell W575-1 to one variant, a card rumored to be worth millions. Recognizing the gravity of his find, Dale wasted no time in having the card professionally graded by the Beckett Company to ascertain its true worth. To Dale's astonishment, the card was indeed deemed the rarest Ruth by the Beckett Company, validating its extraordinary value. Grateful for his stroke of luck, Dale felt compelled to express his gratitude to the store owner who unknowingly sold him the card, vowing to return and offer proper compensation. With the card's potential value soaring into the millions, Dale set his sights high, declaring that bidding would start at $2 million. Despite lucrative offers pouring in, Dale chose to hold on to the card, contemplating its significance within his family's legacy. Having nurtured his passion for collecting since childhood, parting with a prized possession of such magnitude proved a weighty decision. Even in the face of tempting offers, Dale remained steadfast in his refusal to sell or disclose his future plans for the card, leaving many puzzled by his unwavering stance. Delving deeper, one must consider the essence of collecting, a pursuit driven by emotional attachment rather than material gain. For true collectors, the joy derived from their treasures transcends monetary value, fueling a relentless pursuit of rare and coveted items. It's this thrill of the chase that propels collectors like Dale to seek out elusive treasures, such as the Babe Ruth card, which symbolizes not just a valuable commodity, but a source of profound happiness and fulfillment. While it may seem puzzling to outsiders, Collectors often aim to acquire multiple versions of the same card, each distinguished by variations in color, record, or printing plate. For them, the act of obtaining duplicates isn't wasteful, rather it deepens the emotional connection they have with each piece. The inability to find the Babe Ruth card online puzzled the store owner, leading him to believe it was fake. However, this highlights a common dilemma faced by collectors in the digital age. While the internet offers unparalleled access to information, it can diminish the thrill of stumbling upon rare finds in person. Some collectors eschew online searches altogether, preferring the tactile experience of hunting for treasures in the real world. For them, the pursuit of new additions to their collection is as much about the journey as it is about the destination. Nostalgia also plays a significant role in collecting habits, Many individuals retain childhood interests well into adulthood, using their hobbies as a means of reconnecting with simpler times. For them, collecting serves as a tangible link to cherished memories of the past. 
Moreover, rare items from one's past can hold considerable monetary value, adding an extra layer of allure for collectors. As for Dale's decision to hold on to the Babe Ruth card despite lucrative offers, his motivations remain personal and complex. Whether driven by sentimentality, a desire to preserve his collection, or other factors, his choice is his alone. Nonetheless, the world, including the curious store owner, eagerly awaits the card's eventual destination.